Hello, it's Jennifer McGuire here, and I'm doing this video as part of the Hero Arts Catalog debut blog hop. Uh, this blog hop is in celebration of this time of year when Hero Arts comes out with their main new catalog for the new year. And for our 2012 catalog, we have some great stamps to share. And in this video, I'm going to use some of those new stamps. So I use the clear set for the background and a cling set for the main greeting on this. Now for these cards, I also use some fun techniques, so I'll share those along the way too. I'll first start with the greeting strip. To do this, I took the evergreen distress ink. This is the winter seasonal distress ink, and I'm just smearing it as generously as I can on plain white cardstock. You want to use distress inks for this because we're going to use some water, and distress inks react when they come in contact with water, which is vital to this technique. So now that I've covered that with uh, the evergreen color, it's a nice tealish green color, and I'm going to go ahead and make a second. I'm going to use a brown distress ink on this other side. We might as well make two cards while we're at it. So after I've completely covered these with the ink, I'm going to take this new border. It's a cling border. It's, there's three that come in the set. Um, it's called the Border Messages. And I'm going to take some white Distress Stain. It's a little bit different than Distress Inks, but I'll do a lot of the fun same things. And I really like the white. It's called Picket Fence Distress Stain. And I'm just dabbing it to kind of cover this stamp. And I really like that the Hero Art stamps have really nice, um, high quality rubber so that it holds the ink quite well. Now, before I stamp this, I'm going to mist it with some water. You can use a pearlized spray or just regular water, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to stamp this onto the inked area. And when I do this, the white will turn the area white, but the little bit of water that we added, the little bit of mist that we added, will actually move the ink and intensify it even more. So it gives you like this suede look that's really quite cool. So I'm just going to press this, and you'll see quickly that you get this great kind of watery white look that's just beautiful. If you want it to be more crisp, you could use reg just the white without the water. And I love when you stamp on the brown, it gives you an ivory look, even though it was bright white to begin with. So it's really fun to mix these stains with the inks with the water. So while those dry, I decided I wanted to have kind of a metal mat for this greeting strip. So I'm using this Ranger tape from Foil. And instead of using their big pieces and kind of wasting all that area behind the greeting, I'm just using the tape to put some of the metal right along the edges of this white piece. This white piece has been cut to the perfect size mat for that greeting strip. And I'm just going to run this right along the edge. And this little bit of metallic uh, look on the card is a great way to add a little a class or a little something to a card without much effort or any bulk at all. So the little bit of shine really can go a long way. So I'm just rubbing that on there pretty firmly. And then I'll just tear the end off. This tape is really easy to use. Again, it's a foil tape from Ranger. And now I've covered both sides. And I'm going to fold the ends back here. And then I have this great... Um, silver mat and nobody will ever know that it's not filled all the way on the back because we're going to cover it up with that greeting strip and then I rub it with my fingernail so it's nice and smooth. Now I'll go ahead and add this with some foam dots so it's raised up but you can see how it's a perfect mat now. Really quick and easy to do. And here's a closer look at that all together and I even added some pearls for some extra class. Now I wanted to show you how I did the brown. Instead of using the silver up against the brown, I decided to take a brown Copic marker and quickly color the foil to give it like a bronze color. You could use any color you want. If you don't have Copics, you could use a Sharpie marker or any kind of permanent marker or alcohol inks. But I find the Copics are really quick and easy to do. And this just gives it kind of a goldish copper tone. Um, but any color can give you a really great colorful metallic. And here's what the brown version turns out to be. I think this would be a good masculine thank you card. Now I'm going to switch gears here and go back to this teal card and show you how I did the background on this. I'm using one of the new 2012 Hero Arts Clear Sets. This one's called Truly Grateful. I think it's great, nice, classy greetings on here to give great thank you messages. But I'm actually going to use this to build a background. I think sometimes some of these ornate label um, images, you feel just limited to using them as the main greeting, but I think they're also fun for building backgrounds. So I'm going to go ahead, I always start in the center bottom when I want to have a repeating background, and then I just keep kind of working my way up and out. And I'm just kind of filling this in. This seems to fit together like a puzzle really well. Some images do this better than others, and it's easy to just play around with it. 
And by the way, I used a soft pool shadow ink. It's one of the Hero Arts shadow inks on our pool note card for the background. I really like how the shadow inks stamp a nice light tone on tone on our note cards. And here's a little tip on our pearls. I go and I do a little cut in between each of the pearls before I try to pick one up. This is because they're all connected by adhesive and if you only want one at a time, it's easiest if you do just a cut in between them. But if you want to do a whole strip of them, you can peel them all up together. But when I want to do individual, the cut really makes quite a bit of difference. So I'm going to mix some of the medium pearls with the small pearls and it just gives you uh, a little something extra to this pretty simple card. So there you have it. You have a peek at some new cling and clear stamps from Hero Arts and also some fun techniques. Um, if you have any questions, please be sure to visit my blog. And also, just so you know, Hero Arts has their big celebration this weekend. Most stores will be having their parties on December 10th, so be sure to visit HeroArts.com for more details. Hi, this is Carl, and thanks for watching.